Clarence, I'm just imagining what goes through your mind when you're in prison for all those years knowing you're innocent. Feeling very alone, uh, very scared, uh, in a dark place, and uh, wondering if I'll ever be able to spend time with my children again. And once you were out, were you ever able to either talk to the man who actually committed the crimes or the six-year-old who identified you? Yes, we, we did get the actual perpetrator, and uh, he did have hearings, and uh, I attended two or three of them that he had. He pled guilty and was sentenced to 55 years of life, is what I was. It's pretty impressive what you did to secure your own release. That was... That was real detective work and behind-the-scenes work to actually have to take the DNA sample from a fellow inmate to, yes, to clear uh, your name. That's, uh, yeah, that's risky business in, in the prison system. And yet you still had the wherewithal to, yeah. to take that cigarette butt, hide it in a Bible. I, I, I think that that is pretty impressive. And then I know, Mark, one of the things that really bonded you was the resilience that Clarence showed in prison. Yeah, you know, even after we got the... Uh, first, we proved Clarence innocent because he was excluded from the crime scene evidence. Um, this is before we matched it to the true perpetrator. And we went to hearing to the, to the court and tried to free Clarence, and we actually lost. And I can remember um, driving home and having to call Clarence in prison to tell him the bad news, which basically meant he's going to have to spend the rest of his life in prison. And I was so, I was a wreck. I was crying having to deliver this news to him. And he was the one that just said, I have faith this is going to turn out. You know, just pick your spirits up. We're going to win this. And so he's the one lifting me up. Now working with Mark to enact some new laws? Uh, yes, uh, I help uh, lobby for Senate Bill 77 in the state of Ohio, and uh, we got it passed. Tell us, tell us about the reform that that will introduce. Well, we had a, a bill that um, had a bunch of different things that changes the way police do investigations in order to produce wrongful convictions. And um, I was going around and visiting senators and representatives and you know, trying to get their vote, and I wasn't getting very far. And so I asked Clarence if he'd come with me. And so I'd go into a senator or representative's office and sit down with Clarence. And I'd say, Clarence, tell them your story. And instead of checking their phone the whole time like they was, <laughs> they'd be doing when I'm there by myself, they're just transfixed. And then we'd walk out of there and say, I've got your, you know, you got my vote. Um, so he made a huge difference. <laughs>